my name is... Never mind. I'm Piggly King. <laughs> Welcome to Undertale episode 2. In the previous episode, we fell down in the ruins and we named the fallen human Kyrie. Do you smell that? No, I can't smell a thing. Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I told you I prefer cinnamon, but okay. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snow pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Let's not follow her. pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped beneath the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far on the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This, is our, this was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Seems like the red side tutorial. stuck in the drain from Toro. For some reason, there's a brand named chocolate in the fridge. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The stovetop is very clean. Toro must use fire magic instead, as shown by her putting Flowey to fire. Ah! I get my press the start menu so much times. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, is this just the room? Please don't tell me I did anything. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Don't tell me I did anything wrong. Okay, good. I keep pressing the start menu on accident because it keeps it's the button right next to the Z button on my keyboard. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 201X. me on the head. That's very sweet of you, Torio. Is something burning? Oh, make yourself at home. Hmm. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. <laughs> I love how they worded that. Empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Box of kids' shoes in disparity of sizes. I just had to press Z. Oh, there's a pie! Let's pick it up. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Thank you, Tori! Mm, this is, must be Torio's room. I'm not even looking at it. <laughs> it's her sock drawer. Oh, there's little cone of flowers on the shelf. Water sausages. The cactus, truly the most cinder of plants. And that must be your journal. Let's not look in it. But what's in here? Just a regular bucket of snails. <laughs> Snails, Toriel. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and broken crayons. Room on the renovations. It's you! Ah. Now let's go to the room, the, the chair and stuff. Let's go see if Tori has anything to say to us. Already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books that I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Eh, she's, she has a lot of tutorials! <laughs> Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. 
Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. Or when can I go? When can I go home? I mean, I know this is my home now, but where, when can I go surface? What? This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. I'm sorry, Toriel, but that sounds like an extremely boring book. <laughs> sorry. That's us listen, though, to be nice. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have cha a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Nope. Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting, but... Well, I'm not gonna bother you. Sorry, Toriel. Toriel, no! I'm Goat Mom, no! <laughs> what did I do, Goat Mom? <laughs> Let's go down the stairs. Sorry, Goat Mom. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am not. I am going to destroy it, and no one will be ever. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Yes, Goat Mom. I'm just kidding. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No, go, Mom! Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No, goat mom! You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you're strong enough to survive. No! Okay, fine. Torio blocks the way.
to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Um, I can't flee? Please, go upstairs. No, Toriel, I can't because they locked me out of the option. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Come on, Toriel. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are a very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Tutorial. Wait. Go, mom. What happens if I go back upstairs? Is she not gonna let me in? Is she not gonna let me in? Please. I want to be able to save my life. Like, what happens if I go here? Episode, but there is a place where you can get this weapon. Well, not a weapon, but armor piece called the Faded Ribbon, and it improves your defenses. So. Did all the encounters stop because I spared Toriel? Yeah, this is the Faded Ribbon. Found the Faded Ribbon. Let's equip it, shall we? Plus five defense. smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed, so you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Um, Flowey, look at my love. Look at my love. Hee <laughs> hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Then! Um, um, will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. That flowey's faces though. I hate them. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. 
What the heck? Flowey! You jerk. I wish I could just stomp on you. Flowey! He's sitting on an egg. That's what he's doing. Right? So that's the one way exit out of the ruins. Undertale. By Toby Fox. Come on. Yep. <laughs> I wasted so much time going back to the place of Monster Candy. <laughs> Alright. Mm, bush. There's a camera hidden in t inside the bushes. Let's go forward then. Where is, what is this place? It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Aye. Ah! I swear I saw something behind me. to greet a new pra pal turn around and shake my hand I mean <laughs> turn around <laughs> the, the old whoopee cushion in the hand grip. it's always funny anyways you're a human right do I look like one? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Ah, Sans, what are you making me do? Quick, behind that conveniently shaped blend. Oh, I'm gonna read Skype. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. Outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? Um. I want to be ready. Will I be. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I'll finally be able to ro join the work car. People ask to be my friend. I will soon. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sat, son. You're not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit around and boom, 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 dog. Oh, you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton! <laughs> I love how the game does that. Sa sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me has to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, you're supposed to do the snare drum when someone does a bad joke. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Uh, can I talk to you, Sans? 
you ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sleep through more of my hilarious jokes. I would love to do that. Um... What's this? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and see you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. You went the wrong way, Sans! The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Let's save. What's up here? It's a fishing rod fixed to the ground. Reel it in. Sure. All that's attached to it is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. Decide not to call. Send the line back out. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Yes, please. So, you're gonna want to store your spider duck nut for something later. You get this tough glove as a bonus. You don't need this disgusting bandage. You don't need this stick. You don't need this butterscotch pie. This is everything that you need. Press the X button to finish. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to equip this tough glove. You equip the tough glove, and it, I believe it's a weapon. I believe it's a weapon. Yes, it's a weapon. And how much does it do? I'm trying to go back. I believe it does 5 attack, as shown by the stats. And let's put this toy knife back inside. And let's finish. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Sans, did you just... Did you... How did you get there? You went the other way! Is there some shortcut? Did you swim through the river? Sans! Oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh, hey, what's that in front of the rock? <laughs> oh my god, is that, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, Sans, I finally did it. I'm done, I'm gonna, I'll be so popular, popular, popular. Dot, 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 ahem. Human, you shall not pass through, you should not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. Stop telling me your plans, Papyrus. You will then be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Thanks, Sand. Sand. Yeah, as well as you can tell, Sand has the best fun. Well, second best one. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, oh my god, oh. Uh, I'd like to order um, a pizza with uh, the toppings are. Uh, I have not copied, so I'll just paste them to you. Your phone is too old to receive text. It reads out loud character by character and asks the art of a cat anime cat girl. Uh, that was funny. Joke? Bad ice plan. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Uh... Six pack, two defense. Team comedian fights to keep the captive audience. Ice to meet you! Nice fun, man. Let's laugh at his joke. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Let's spare it. 12 gold, that's a lot. Wait, what's in here? There's a room for some narration on this card room box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I built that very famous royal guard swordsman. No, not yet a very famous school. Guardsman. That was Papyrus, obviously, as shown by the Papyrus font that he features. Absolutely.
Absolutely no moving! What the heck? Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Um, do I pet you? Don't move an inch. Yep, that's the blue attack. Blue attacks, you don't move. I've been pet! Pot, pet, pot, pet, pot, pet, pet, pot. Okay, now I can spare it. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> no? Smoking dog treats. How do you smoke a dog treat? Hey, here's some secrets I'm looking forward to remembering. My brother has a very special attack. Highly. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so you imagine a blue stop sign instead. Those are actually real cool. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Thanks, Sans. To read the sign, let me read the sign. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, Snowden Town, and ice. Oh, hi, little snowman! Hello, I am a snowman! I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'd be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. I don't know why I was calling, speaking like that. Thank you! Good luck! Snowman piece. Thank you, Mr. Snowman. Uh, uh, it says that you teleport? You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. <laughs> I love that line. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. Did it do? For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the wall of this maze, this board will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Um, it's life threatening. Cause the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small. I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> I think the human has to hold the oar. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. I like how Papyrus and Sans have like the different. F oh no! I didn't get to talk to him. What's up, man? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello. Would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now I'm just fishing something gold. Sure, why not? Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. What's this? Oh, hi, nice Sand. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just five grand. Did I say five grand? I meant fifty grand. Really? How about five? That's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> What's snow here? Ah, 
Wow, whoa, it's a hole. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Why is it in red? His, hers. <laughs> Human, I hope you're ready for a... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Um... I can't- I found a robot! It's right there!